My name is Dr. Scott Perzinski. I'm a co-founder of Blue Marble Exploration. Basically, uh, we're aiming to go into challenging places around the world for science and also just to expand human presence. My name is Guillermo Sunline. I'm co-founder and CEO of Blue Marble Exploration. We organize expeditions into extreme environments, primarily for the purpose of scientific discovery, but also for the purpose of storytelling and getting people to be engaged with the environment and the technologies that it takes to conduct these kinds of expeditions. In the history of exploration, most exploration has been done by private individuals. That's really important because if all we did was expect governments to do exploration, we wouldn't get a lot of exploration done. I've been very fortunate to, to fly in space on five separate occasions and do you know, seven spacewalks, but uh, the, the oceans are really the last uh, blank space on the planet, if you will. So much of our oceans have yet to, to be mapped in any great detail. Dean's Blue Hole for me was kind of a personal passion project. It just amazed me that there's this iconic place on Earth that's so beautiful and so mysterious, and yet nobody really knows what's down there. My name is Phil Newton. As much as I love diving, I love building diving equipment even more. This should never have been called Earth. It should have been called ocean because it certainly is an ocean planet. One of the reasons that we partnered with Newtco is that for some of the scientific experiments that we need to conduct at Dean's Blue Hole, we're going to need to use uh, atmospheric diving suits. Basically, I was in my own personal submersible and I, I felt almost as if I was out on a spacewalk. They're designed to take uh, human beings down as deep as a thousand feet. A dream come true for me to go into a place that's never been visited other than by one diver who spent uh, a few minutes. We'll be able to spend hours there, map it for, for science and also for a documentary film so that the rest of the world can come join us as well. So I, I think it's going to be uh, uh, an extraordinary experience. We're expecting to have at least one, maybe two manned submersibles, one to two atmospheric diving suits, there'll be divers in the water, we may even have a remotely operated vehicle. It's going to be a very complicated operation, especially considering that we're going to be in a very uh, tight working space. If you're at all claustrophobic, this would be your absolute worst nightmare. <laughs> The training today was really interesting for me. Uh, they threw down a number of challenges. The first was to open and close a, a shackle, and then tie a knot, which was actually pretty challenging, but I, I figured out a way to do that. And then finally, I had to uh, install a shackle on the lanyard that was positioned in the water column, and that was uh, probably the toughest thing that they had me do. One of the key questions that the science team is trying to answer is how these blue holes were formed, especially how Dean's Blue Hole was formed, and um, what they can tell us about climate change. Given that our global population is increasing, environmental sustenance is something that's really concerning to me. And so I think by, by studying how the, the planet is changing, we can preserve it. And I think the biggest part of it for me is uh, telling the story of Dean's Blue Hole, telling the story of uh, exploration, telling the story of humans using technologies to explore the harsh environments around them.